It's a big Mid-South Conference showdown this afternoon from Georgetown as the Shawnee State University Bears come calling on the Georgetown College Tigers here at Davis Reed Alumni Gym on the Tigers Sports Network. Good afternoon and welcome to this afternoon's broadcast of a men's women's doubleheader here between the two schools, Shawnee and Georgetown. Tigers uh, will get the women's game started here in about nine minutes from now as Georgetown and Shawnee's women uh, will do battle here in game number one. The Tigers won the game back in Portsmouth back in early December by a final score of 53 to 51. Or excuse me, 55-53 in that game. Uh, the Lady Tigers win that one uh, on the road in Portsmouth. The Tigers have been, uh, to say the least, inconsistent uh, when it comes to uh, the win-loss column here in 2023. Uh, uh, coming off a loss on Thursday night on the road to the University of Pikeville in Pikeville. Uh, Lady Tigers did not uh, play very well, or at least shoot the ball very well. They lost 81, excuse me, 94-71 back on Thursday night to the Lady Bears there in Pikeville. Uh, should be uh, a bounce back game for Georgetown here this afternoon as they look to get back on the winning ways here today. Tigers coming back out on the floor as you have Coach Jeff Nickel in his second year. This is the school that Coach Nickel came from in Shawnee up in Portsmouth. He is in his second year with the Tigers here in Georgetown. And remember when I uh, heard the news that he was taking over the program here at Georgetown, I uh, thought it was a really, really much a huge coup for Brian Evans and the Georgetown College women's basketball program to get Coach Nickel away from a conference foe. This will be the final time, uh, to my understanding, that Shawnee State will be playing here in Georgetown due to the fact that they are moving to another conference at the end of this season and will be playing, I believe, in the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Red River Conference, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the River Conference. Uh, a lot more teams closer to them in the geographical end of things. That game back in December, in which the Tigers won that, We'll give you the particulars about that and what it's going to take for Georgetown to stop a two-game losing streak. Uh, they lost a week ago here at home by a point, 61-60 to Freed Hartman. And they, of course, lost on Thursday night. In that game in Portsmouth back in early December, the Tigers were led by Aaron Toller, who had 18 points. 15 points for Casey Colon. And we had nine points for Lisa Sulajamani. Five points for Madison Darnell. That's one of the big keys to this Tiger program. If they can get Madison Darnell playing back to what she did early in her career here in Georgetown. Johnny State, meanwhile, in that game in December, was led in scoring by Tanisha Murphy, who had 20 points. She was the game's leading scorer and was joined in double figures by Marne Holland, who had 10 points. Georgetown out was out-rebounded by Shawnee in that game, 29-27. The Tigers did force 20 turnovers and turned the ball over 16 times in that game themselves. Tigers trailed 15 to 12 after one quarter, led 32-25 at the break. 
then led 46 to 37 after three quarters, and they were outscored 16 to nine in the fourth quarter to hold on for that game. Georgetown outscored in the paint. That will be a big factor today for Jeff Nichols Ball Club. They were outscored in the paint in Portsmouth 40 to 30, but they did win the battle of the second chance points, seven to four. They lost the points off turnovers, 15 to 11 to Shawnee. But the key to the uh, second key to the game this afternoon for Georgetown will be the bench. They outscored Shawnee's bench on December the 1st, 19 to eight in posting that two point victory in a place that has not been kind over the years for both the men and the women of Georgetown. When they go to Portsmouth, it is a gym that a very nice facility there on the campus of Shawnee State, but a very difficult place for opponents to go in and come away with victories. But the Tigers did it the other night, or the last time these two schools met back on December the 1st. So it's Georgetown and Shawnee as we get you set for college basketball here on the Tigers Sports Network. Back at Davis Reed Alumni Gym on the campus of Georgetown College on a sunny but very cold January afternoon here in Central Kentucky. Uh, it's hard to believe back on Thursday, temperatures were in the low 60s. Now somewhere in the low Third, or low to mid 30s this afternoon here in Georgetown. But as usual, here on the friendly confines of Davis Reed Alumni Gym, it is quite warm, as they call it affectionately, the sauna here on the campus just outside of downtown Georgetown. Shawnee and Georgetown getting ready to get underway with the women's action here as both teams are circling around their respective benches and head coaches for Shawnee. Their head coach is Dwayne Burroughs in his second season as the head coach of the Lady Bears. And of course, Jeff Nickel, I mentioned the former coach at Shawnee now in his second season as the head coach of Georgetown College. We are getting ready for the National Anthem and the starting lineups for today's <laughs> women's game between the Tigers and the Bears. We're going to get 
the national anthem here as we get set for action here in Georgetown. And now we'll get the starting lineups for both teams. Anisha Murphy will be one guard. She is from Elizabethtown, Kentucky, courtesy of Motlow State Community College. She's a five foot eight senior. <coughs> Number three is Cambrea Elzey, a five foot seven senior out of Tulare, California. Also, in the starting lineup, they have number 22. Not sure who that is, but number 14 is Arne Holland, a 5'11 senior out of Strongsville, Ohio. I'll get the rest of them here in a minute. For Georgetown and Coach Jeff Nickel, it'll be Sophie Smith at one guard, a five foot seven sophomore out of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, and Anderson County High School. Aaron Toller, a five foot seven freshman out of Louisville. We'll also get Madison Darnell, a five foot eleven senior, and then we'll get number eleven Izzy Lamparty, a five eleven sophomore out of Canfield, Ohio. And then we get number 12, Jalen Landersite, a six foot senior out of Nicholasville, Kentucky, and transferred in here a couple of years ago from Tennessee Martin. So again for Georgetown, it's Smith, Toller, Darnell, Lamparty, and Landersite. For John E. State, it's Murphy, Marne Holland, Jada Johnson, and I'll get you the fourth starter here in a minute. We had a technical foul has been called on Sean E. for to get started here, and that. Probably more than likely it was just due to an error of a number entered in the book when the officials checked it. So Toller will shoot one. And she hits the free throw in Georgetown leads. One to nothing. So we'll jump it here in the center circle in Georgetown with a one to nothing lead after the tactical foul. The, the other starter is number 12. That is. Markayla Holland, a 5'10 freshman out of Waterford, Michigan. So there'll be Lamparty jumping against Holland, and the Tigers control the tip, moving right to left. Here's Darnell, goes down low, trying to get it down low to Lamparty, but knocked away and out of bounds by number 23, Jada Johnson for Shawnee, and it'll be Tiger basketball and Smith will trigger in left baseline extended. Have a problem, I think, either with the shot clock or with the 
game clock. It's a shot clock, 24 seconds on the shot clock. And Smith will inbound to Lamparty. Here's Lamberside, three left of the circle, back rim, no. Rebounded by Holland for Shawnee, and here come the Bears with their first possession of the afternoon. Just underway, 15 seconds in. Tigers lead 1-0 after a pre-tip technical foul on Shawnee State. This is Murphy. On the left side, it goes to Holland. Comes to the high post, gets a screen and roll. Way off was Johnson on the shot. Rebounded by Darnell. Here come the Tigers. Smith, down the right baseline, comes back out. Double team, gets it in the right corner to Darnell. Darnell. Penetrates, got cut off. Tried to kick it back out, knocked away. Ball's loose. Man, party though, fights, he gets it, puts it off glass, and Storton. Nice play by Lamparty, and it's 3 0 Tigers. Nice bounce pass to Johnson from Elsie, and the Bears are on the board. 3 2. This is Smith down the lane. Ball out in the left corner, Toller, three. Back rim, no, long rebound in the right corner to Darnell. Now back to Toller, in the lane to Lamparty. Fakes, left hand layup, left it short. Rebound off of Darnell. Looked like possibly to me that Holland got a hand on it late. And the Tigers will give full court pressure as Sean Evil inbound. 3-2, 8.38 to play in the first quarter of play here from Georgetown. Just underway. Glad you're with us. This is Murphy on the right side. Looks like Tigers are man to man. Now here is Murphy. They're looking down low for Johnson. Forces it in. Triple team. Toller knocks it away. Here she comes the other direction. Goes to Landers on the right side. Lost it. And standing on the end line was Murphy. Coach Burrow's telling Murphy, don't make the pass. She was telling Johnson, look, hey, you're calling for it. Go get it. But there was a triple team. They try to get it in the land party. She goes to the right block, puts it up off glass, no good. Gets it back, puts it up, no good. Rebound Lambert's sight, back rim, good. Izzy Lamparty with... Second ever kept it alive, and the ball fell into the hands of Lamp uh, into Lamberside, and it's 5 2. Down the lane goes Elsie, has it knocked out of bounds by Suleiman Johnny, who's in the ball game for the first time today. And it's 5 2 Tigers with 7.54 to play in the opening quarter. This Johnson in the lane over Lamparty. Glass high, good. Georgetown 5, Johnson 4. She has all four Shawnee points. Lambersite to Darnell. Now here's Suleiman Johnny. Goes to the right side. Straight away to Toller. Now around to Darnell. High post to Lambersite. He turns on Elsie. Puts it on the floor. Left hand layup. Good. Four for Lambersite. And it's 7-4 Tigers. Elsie and Murphy play catch out near the six-foot line for the volleyball. Elsie straight away three. Good. Elsie with her first field goal. And we're tied at seven. Here's Darnell. Now to Suleiman Johnny. Toller here on the left wing. Left corner. They go down low to Lamparty on the left block. Turns in the lane. Puts it up from five and it dances in. Lamparty with four now. Nine, seven, Georgetown. Down the lane goes Murphy. Had it blocked by Lamparty. Off ahead to Landersight. Landersight right down the right lane, and they're going to call a charge. First foul of the ball game goes on Jalen Landersight. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if Johnson was totally in a guarding position. Looked like she was a little bit diagonal, but the official said charge and we're headed the other direction. Turnover on the offensive foul. And Suleman Johnny going to call for the reach in. First foul on her. 
It's the second on the Tigers and just to the left of the Shawnee bench. Markayla Holland will inbound to Elsie. Left wing now to Holland. Elsie high post to Johnson, turns back to Murphy. Looks like the Tigers are in a matchup zone. Elsie, 18 footer, left of the circle, no good. Rebounded by Darnell. Darnell off to Suleman Johnny. Ahead to Toller. Left hand left, left it underneath the bottom side of the rim. Long pass ahead to Holland. Down the lane, hangs and a foul on Landersite. That's two on Jalen. Third on the Tigers. And at the line will be Markayla Holland, I do believe. It's our, actually Marnay Holland at the line for two. As Smith comes back in. And the shot up from Holland is in and out, no good. Second one from Holland is short, rebounded by Darnell. Tried to go ahead to A.J. Stevenson, a 5'10 sophomore into the game for the first time this afternoon for Georgetown. Stevenson out of Huntland, Tennessee. Murphy was able to knock it out of bounds, and the Tigers will set against the half-court zone from Shawnee. A deep three from Stevenson. Good. First three of the afternoon for Georgetown comes from A.J. Stevenson, 12-7 Tigers. Murphy gets between two defenders and lays it in. Stevenson, right side. Smith fakes, gets down on the right side of the lane, back to Toller, three straight away. Got it. Four for Aaron Toller, 15 to nine, Georgetown. Here's Elsie with the basketball. Left side, it goes to Holland, who drives, puts it up from seven, hit the top of the backboard. Darnell unable to grab it with both hands, has it knock it out to Stevenson, has it tipped away from behind. Ahead to Marnay Holland, who will lay it in. 15 to 11, Georgetown. 4.35 in the clock, moving here in the opening quarter. Darnell, high post, gets around. They're gonna have a foul. And the first one on the Bears this afternoon goes on Marnay Holland with the hook of the knee and the leg. And Georgetown will inbound it. We have a media timeout. So with 4.29 to play in the opening quarter, it's Georgetown on top of Shawnee, 15 to 11 on the Georgetown College Sports Network. Back at Davis Reed Alumni Gym, Georgetown with a four-point lead in the basketball as they'll inbound underneath left baseline extended. Smith will trigger in. Looking, gets it in the left corner to Darnell. Back to Smith. Smith. 
Here is Stevenson on the left wing, drives left baseline. Tried to jump pass it into the corner to Tolers, knocked away, and here come the Bears. Murphy down the right side on Smith. Put it up and in. Smith with Ford and 15-13, Georgetown. Right wing to Stevenson. Here's Smith. Penetrates. Had a shot, but backs it out. High post to Lamparty. Back to Smith. Down the right side. Laid it up and in. It goes in. Smith with her first two. And the Tigers back out by four with three and a half to play in the opening ten minutes of play here. This is Holland. Back to Elsie straight away. Now to Holland again. Elsie, Murphy, three out right in front of the Georgetown bench. Went down and came out. Rebounded by Darnell. Darnell checks on the right wing. Stevenson in the right corner for three. Good. Second three of the day. Both of them are from A.J. Stevenson. It's 20 to 13 Georgetown with three minutes to play in this opening 10 minutes. Been a fast-paced opening 10. Here's Holland out of the corner for three. Left it short. Rebounded by Toller. Nice job blocking out on the backside. Ahead to Madison Darnell. Oh, look for Lampard. And Murphy stepped in front and takes it the other way. Murphy runner. No good. Darnell, though, claims the rebound. And will get a hell ball and stay with Shawnee. 2.41 to play. Georgetown 20. Shawnee State 13. As we get Jordan Rogers in, replacing Madison Darnell. Rogers, a 5'10 sophomore, wearing number one in white. Here's Elsie out of the right corner for three. Back rim, no. Stevenson and Johnson fight. Lamparty ties her up. And now we go with the alternating possession on the hill ball, and the Tigers will have it leading 20 to 13. Couple open looks for Shawnee from three, just unable to go. Actually, three of them, and the first one had the best opportunity going in. This is Rogers, right wing. Tries baseline, cut off, gives it back to Stevenson. Stevenson down the lane, left hand runner, no, too strong. Rebound tipped into the hands of Johnson to Johnson. Johnson gives off to Elsie, who puts it up over Smith. And it's good. And that stops the Georgetown mini run. They go on the left block to Lampard. He's working on Johnson. Crossed over. Lost control of it. Toller got it back. Put it up high off the glass and in. Six for Aaron Toller. It's 22-15. Tigers. This is Holland in the corner. Straight away now to... Murphy as Georgetown plays. It looks like a 1-2-2. Two, two. They go down the block. Holland got lost on the baseline and laid it in. Nice find from Cambrea Elsie, the senior, finding Marnay Holland. And it's 22-17. Here's Rogers straight away. Back rim, no. Lamparty, though, gets the rebound. Loses it off her foot out of bounds. And they go back to Shawnee. Good hustle, though, by Lamparty. Just Put the ball on the floor to try to do a power move to the basket. Just dribble it off her foot. And here come the Lady Bears as we approach a minute to play in the opening quarter. Tigers with that five-point advantage. High post, Johnson from 16, no. Rodgers with the rebound for Georgetown. Off to Stevenson. To the middle of the floor goes A.J. Down the lane, floater. Got it. Stevenson with eight off the bench in his 24-17 Georgetown. I think we lost a hair tie or something on the floor. It was pointed out in the orange part of the paint of the tiger head there. Don't know where it came from or whose it was. Under a minute to play now. The Tigers lead by seven. Here's Johnson in the nice ball movement. Three on the way from the left wing. No. And Rogers let it go. The shot missed by Markayla Holland. 
Got a pair of Hollands, no relation. A pair of Jack uh, uh, Johnsons for Shawnee. This is Smith, Georgetown looking to expand on a seven point lead right now. Here's Toller, bounces down on the baseline, put up a lot of contact, no call. And we're headed the other direction. Kelly Jackson had a wide open look, got bumped and left it short. Here comes Shawnee with a chance to shoot for the final shot of the quarter with the shot clock off. As we go towards 10 seconds to play, and Whitford, or looks like Georgetown playing man to man. Here's Elsie working on Smith, left hand runner, no good. Stevenson will let it fly from just this side of half court. No good. And the Tigers lead by seven after one quarter of play here in Georgetown. It's the Tigers 24, Bears 17. Second quarter of action getting ready to get underway here on the Tiger Sports Network. Georgetown's Lady Tigers leading the Lady Bears of Shawnee as we come back to action 24-17. It'll be the Bears basketball and it'll be Elsie Murphy, Johnson, and the Hollands, Marnay and Markela. This is Markela into the lane. Puts it up from seven, no good, off balance, and the ball rebound and knocked out of bounds by Georgetown to go back to Shawnee. It'll be a 20-second shot clock. Elsie will inbound. Up front to Murphy, into the right corner now to Elsie, guarded by Smith. Elsie, step back, 15-footer, right elbow, back rim, no. Stevenson claims the rebound for Georgetown. Tigers run. Here's Rogers on the right side. Into the lane to Johnson. Threw it behind her. Here's Murphy into the lane over Rogers. Rogers got a piece of it. Now Smith headed the other direction. Smith across the timeline. Down the right side. Put it up. And they're going to call a charge. And I tell you what. Johnson was falling before Smith got to her. So wipe off the basket. The foul on Smith is her first. That is the first team foul on Georgetown here in the second quarter of play. It'll be Claudia Carrillo, 5'7", sophomore for Shawnee in blue there as well as Alara Nelson Elias, a 5'7 senior, number five in blue. Here's Elsie. Right corner to Murphy. Bounces down the block to Holland, who turns on Jackson, who takes it away from Nelson Elias there. Here's Stevenson right down the lane, had it knocked away, loose ball. Smith on the floor with it. Stevenson gets it back. Here's Rogers. Left wing for three. Looks back rim. It is too strong. Rebounded by Holland in the right corner. Yeah.
Kelsey down the left side of the lane, had it knocked out of bounds, went off her, stays with Shawnee. We'll get Johnson back in, replacing Holland for Marnay Holland, who she's replacing. 24-17, Georgetown, 8-29 to play before halftime. Ball thrown out and intercepted by Toller. Toller, Toller. Why'd the... We had an inadvertent horn. Coach Burrow's upset. Coach Burrow's And we're going to get both teams to the bench as the officials will huddle in the middle of the floor here. First quarter numbers look like this. Shawnee was 8 of 20 from the floor for 40%. Only 1 of 5 from behind the arc for 20%. <clears throat> 0 of 2 from the free throw line. Georgetown was 10 of 20 in the first half from the floor for 50%, including 3 of 6 from behind the arc and one of one from the free throw line. Largest lead was seven in the first half by Georgetown with three minutes and 14 seconds to play. Georgetown is out rebounding Shawnee tremendously by a, a 14 to four advantage in that first quarter led by Madison Darnell six and Izzy Lamparty's three rebounds. So. Darnell has yet to score, but yet leading everybody in rebounding with six in that first 10 minutes of play. Coach Burroughs is still complaining about something to the lead official this afternoon. It's 26-17, Georgetown up by nine. And Elsie straight away. Here's Murphy for three, right wing, no. Rebounded by Toller for Georgetown. Ahead to Smith. Smith, cross courts to Rogers. Rogers down the lane with a big step, no good, and a foul coming up on Jackson. First foul on Jackson. That's team foul number two on the Lady Tigers. They lead by nine, 26 17. Three zone from Georgetown this trip down as Elsie has it straight away in the corner to Nelson Elias in the lane to Holland who put it in. Six now for Marnay Holland. Here's Smith who comes to the left side to Rogers. He surveys the situation. She pounds the dribble. Smith angles to the right side, goes to the and they're going to get a foul on Callie Jackson. Tell you what, it's amazing how when a coach talks to a particular official, as Jackson will go to the bench with her second foul, she becomes the second Tiger to pick up two. And it's 26-19, three team fouls on the Tigers here in quarter number two. This is Carrillo to Elsie that goes baseline to Nelson Elias, who thought it was going out of bounds. Rogers rescues it, and here come the Tigers. Stevenson in the front court, double team. Gets it down to Lamparty. Skip pass to Rogers. One more to Toller in the left wing. Here we go, three in and out. Stevenson had it, lost it. Went out of bounds off Carrillo. But Stevenson the final one to touch it. We have a problem with the shot clock.
So Georgetown unable to convert on a wide open look for Toller in the left corner. We're getting another stoppage here in time as it looks like the shot clock is a problem. On the end to our left as I look here at top Davis Reed Alumni Gym. So in case you're wondering for Georgetown when it comes to conference play, excuse me, comes here to conference play over the next couple of weeks. Men and women, of course, play men's, women's doubleheaders in all conference games. Of course, the Tigers here at home this afternoon. Then they'll be on the road. The women will be at number one, Thomas Moore. That game will be on Thursday night. Back here a week from today, they'll take on Wilberforce. And then consecutive road games in Tennessee the following week, the 26th and 28th, Thursday the 26th, the Tigers will be at Freed Hardman and then at Bethel. Uh, of course, time change with that. For Bethel, it'll be a 2 o'clock. Actually, they're both in the western time zone from where we are here down in Georgetown. Uh, it'll be a 6.30 eastern tip for Georgetown at Freed Hardman for the women and a 2 o'clock tip for Georgetown and Bethel down in McKenzie, Tennessee. Uh, those games on the 26th and 28th, they'll also have a road game on the uh, February the 4th down in Williamsburg when they will take on the Patriots of the University of the Cumberland. So three straight road games after a week from today's game against Wilberforce here on the 21st. Then the Tigers come home for consecutive games on February the 9th here, uh, Thursday and Saturday. They'll play the University of Tennessee Southern on the 9th and the 11th they'll play Cumberland University before a trip on the 16th of February down to Campbellsville. The women uh, will face the fourth ranked team in the country as well as then on the 18th, it'll be senior day here where Georgetown hosts longtime rival Lindsey Wilson. <clears throat> so that's a look at the schedule from this point on. And Georgetown will set this 2-3 zone with Smith and Toller at the top of it, Stevenson, Lamparty, and Rogers across the bottom. Elsey. As it jump pass, left wing, it goes to Murphy, and she stepped on the end line. Turnover against Georgetown. Or, uh, I'm sorry, on Shawnee. We have that clock problem again on the shot clock on the end. Georgetown is going to here to our left. Might be a battery problem. Because it is a... remote thing and we'll see where we get it fixed here. Coach Burrow saying, hmm, what about the clocks? Well, I don't know what we're doing here. Now the officials get back together here in the middle of the floor. in a gymnasium that had the same issue. One shot clock continued to malfunction and they are trying to, I guess, figure out what to do here. I think they're going to run one clock. And that'd be through 
the one I think to the right is the one that works. The one on the, on the left, as I'm sitting here at Tom Davis Reed Alumni Gym, that's the one that is malfunctioning. I believe the one to the basket that Shawnee is shooting at right now is the one that is working. So Georgetown have the basketball. We've had a couple of breaks here and leading 26-19. Tigers led by seven after one quarter and they continue leads. Both teams only have a bucket here in the second quarter. Rogers to Smith. Looks like it's a matchup one, two, two now for Shawnee. Stevenson in the right corner to Rogers. Back to Stevenson, lets the three go. Back to Shawnee as they come the other direction. Here's Murphy down the lane. The foul coming up on Georgetown and Murphy. I think got hit in the, the face there. That is on Tor, I believe. It is on Toler. That's the first on Toler. And that's four on Georgetown here in the quarter. Shawnee has yet to commit a foul here in the second quarter of play. Murphy's free throw is good. Five now for Murphy. And she tries to draw Shawnee closer. She does. The lefty does. It is 26-21. Georgetown with six minutes to play before halftime. Smith with the basketball. Rogers in the right corner to Toler. Right block goes to Lamparty. Puts it up over Carrillo. Missed a shot. Couldn't tell if she's going to shoot straight in or bank it. Kind of got caught in between. Elsie pulls up. 16-footer straight away. No. Toler rebounds. And here come the Tigers again running. And we get a whistle and a foul on Marnay Holland. I believe that's two. Actually, they're going to call it on number five. Nelson Elias, her first. Only the second foul overall in the game on Shawnee. They committed a foul in each quarter so far. Rogers, right wing. Knocked away from her to be back to Georgetown. Smith has the ball. To Stevenson. Toller. Block. Swinging around Smith. The corner. Rogers. Three on the way. Back rim. No. Long rebound in the hands of Elsie. Here come the Lady Bears. Looking to cut this lead down even more. Elsie pulls up from five. Missed the shot and a foul coming up on Sophie Smith. Her second. That's team foul number five on Georgetown in the quarter. And Smith becomes the third Tiger with two fouls here in the opening 20 minutes of action. As Darnell will come in. Bill Magani comes in. Darnell comes in for Toller. Bill Magani comes in replacing Smith who has two fouls. Elsie's free throw is good. Six now for Elsie. She looks to bring Shawnee within three here. Free throw is good. 26-23 with five minutes to play in the first half. Georgetown with the lead in the basketball. Elsie closes out on Stevenson. The Rogers, Sue and Johnny. On the block to Lamparty, left hand jump hook, left it short, rebounded by Nelson Elias. And here comes Shawnee with a chance to get it closer. And they do with a left hand runner by Murphy. Eight now for Tanisha Murphy, the senior, and it's 26 25 Tigers. High post to Darnell. Stevenson, left wing three, got her feet set and drained it. 11, the first player in the double figures this afternoon. Stevenson with three threes. It's 29-25, Georgetown. 
Holland, right baseline from 16, no. Rebounded by Rodgers, here come the Tigers. Shula Johnny in the middle of the floor. Skip pass, trying to hit Stevenson, and it's knocked out of bounds by Holland. And we have a media timeout. Timeout on the floor with 4.01 to play before halftime. It's Georgetown 29 and Shawnee 25. Men will follow later to this afternoon, 20 minutes after the conclusion of the women's game here in Georgetown. Tigers and Bears uh, have hooked up in some good ones over the years. Georgetown... Uh, With a tough two-point loss on the road back in that game in early December when uh, Shawnee was able to knock off the Tigers 63-61 in that ball game. So the Tigers looking to avenge that road loss. Darnell gives it to Suman Johnny. Here's Darnell with it, gets a screen, pulls up straight away. This is when Johnny has Darnell available on the left block. Back out to her. Here's a fake by Darnell, baseline. Tried to get it, and goes off of Nelson Elias with four seconds to shoot. <coughs> Says three on one end, four on the other for the Tigers. So Sue and Johnny will inbound. Right along the three-point arc on the baseline. Baseline to the block to Lamparty, who missed the shot. Here comes Shawnee, Elsey in the corner to Carrillo. Call for traveling. <laughs> on the floor for... Shawnee is Tiara Johnson, a five foot eight sophomore, 23 in blue. And it looks like it is a two three zone, which they are really coming around here. Stevenson in the right corner to Johnson, tried to get it inside. That's knocked it into the Shawnee bench by Holland. And the Tigers will have it with 18 to shoot on the shot clock. Right mid post, they go. Lampard is down low and a whistle and a foul on Holland for Shawnee. That's the second on Holland and the first, or the second foul, excuse me, on Shawnee here in the second quarter. Toller comes in replacing Rogers. Johnny in the Left corner, straightaway Stevenson gets a look at it, lets it fly, got it. 14 for A.J. Stevenson, it's 32-25, Georgetown with three to go in the first half. Elsie around to Murphy on the right wing. The zone really doing a nice job of being active. Elsie has it knocked away into the lane. Ball still loose. Darnell gets on the floor and it goes back to Georgetown. Looked like it was Lamparty that got a hand on it to knock it away from Elsie. And then Darnell gets on the floor to get the possession back for the Tigers. 32-25, Georgetown. Well, that seven-point advantage has been seven for the most part, except got a catch of three a moment ago by Shawnee. Here's Toller, right corner, three, good. So 
Coach Burrell's complaining about something on a moving screen or something. 6 threes for Georgetown here in the first half. It's 35-25, the first double-digit lead of the afternoon. Two minutes to play. Elsie down the lane. Glass, no good. Too high. Darnell, or excuse me, it's Lamparty with a rebound. Stevenson. Cross court to Darnell. Put it up. Count it in the foul. Nice look from Lamparty on the cutting Darnell. And Darnell with her first two of the afternoon. She gets the hoop and the harm. And the Tigers lead by 12 with 156 in his timeout, Shawnee. The foul is on Karama Nix for Shawnee playing her first action this afternoon. But the Tigers off and running. They lead 37-25. If Madison Darnell with her first basket of the day can complete the old-fashioned three-point play here. Tigers. Shooting the lights out here in the first half of action at 50% after the first quarter. If I'm not mistaken, it'll probably be a little higher right now. Madison Darnell will be at the line to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Tigers up 12 now. Darnell looks to complete that three-point play and does. Thirty-eight twenty-five with a minute fifty taken away by Suleiman Johnny. Ahead it goes to Darnell. Elsie in pursuit knocks it out of bounds as Darnell try to. Baker let her fly past. Give it to Darnell, to Stevenson now. Darnell down through a really tough pass. They had a shot too. Murphy into the lane, left hand runner. No, Darnell with another rebound off to Suleiman Johnny. That party ahead of her. She tried to go behind the back and a foul on Murphy. First foul on Murphy. It'll be the fourth team foul. And then from this point on, both teams will be shooting free throws. They'll move. Okay, one step down. <laughs> this will far side. One to move the Stevenson down one step to her left. Minute 15 of the clock moving. Georgetown with a 13-point lead, and they get a whistle and a foul on Suleiman Johnny. Be an offensive foul. The second on Suleiman Johnny. She becomes the fourth Tiger to have two fouls here in the first half of play. Shelby Wilson, a 5'5 five five sophomore, comes in to action for the first time today. Wilson, a 5'5 five five junior out of Winchester's George Rogers Park High School. Murphy to Elsie, skip pass across. In the top to Holland, nice look to Elsie, steps in, 15 footer right, baseline good. Nine now for Elsie to lead. Shawnee in scoring is 38 28 Tigers. Stevenson working on Elsie, gets back to Rogers, he's back in the game. Right wing, Toller for three. Got it. Toller with her third three. She has 11. 41 28, Tigers by 13. Skip pass over in the corner. It's a three on the way for Shawnee. No good. And they're going to have a foul on Georgetown on the back side. Said she hooked her. Coach Jeff Nickel with both hands on the hip asking the official. And I agree. I like the fan to our just below us here saying it's called a block out. Didn't look like she hooked her. Johnson misses the first free throw. 
Shawnee has not shot the ball well from the foul line. Well, actually, they are four of four from the line. And she hits the second one. Five now for Johnson. Clock, shot clock is off, 21-8. We don't have the shot clock, or the game clock is not on. So it's 19.6, should be 18, I think, is what they're going to say. Let's see, nope, 21.8. Toller being guarded by Elsie gives it to Stevenson, guarded by Murphy. Stevenson, right side to Toller. Toller, jab step, can't get free, under 10. Toller being hounded by Elsie, skip pass all the way. Rogers free in the left corner. Front rim, no. Rebounded by Johnson. And Georgetown leads here at the halftime break, 41-28. Coach Jeff Nickel. Wanting a foul there on Elsie. I thought Elsie did a decent job of moving her feet. I think the problem with it that Coach Nickel had was the fact that Elsie reached around with that left hand and made contact with Toller, pulling her off balance, but didn't get the call. And the Tigers got an open look at the end of that, and uh, Roger shot just too strong. Halftime of the women's game here in Georgetown. The homestanding Lady Tigers lead 41-28 over Shawnee.
look at the men's teams for the two institutions down below us getting set for their matchup. Shawnee won the earlier one, 63-61 over Georgetown in Portsmouth. Tigers coming in. Here in the, uh, looking for revenge of that loss back in early December. Tigers in that one. Georgetown coming in with a record of 15 and three overall, nine and three within the conference. Uh, that loss to Shawnee and then the one to Upike back on Thursday night are two of those road losses or two of those losses in the conference, both coming on the road. Uh, but Georgetown also having been uh, embarrassed here at home back in the middle of November to what is now the number one ranked team in the country in time. Well, actually, they're not number one now. They've been number one and number two for the most part. They were ranked two at that point in time. Thomas Moore was embarrassed the Tigers here at home, 61 to 38. So Georgetown looking to avenge that loss to Shawnee here with a couple of really tough games here over the next couple of weeks. One is the trip on the 28th down to Bethel and then the one uh, a week from this past Thursday up in Highland Heights when they go to take on Thomas Moore. That will be uh, a tough place to play for Georgetown. So halftime here of the women's game, it's Georgetown leading over Shawnee 41-28. For the Bears, they are shooting 40% on the afternoon, 8 of 20. Uh, I'm sorry, they are shooting 11 of 32 in the first half of action. They are shooting uh, 34.3% from the floor. They are one of six from behind the arc for 16.7%. They only took one three in that second quarter after going one of five from behind the arc in quarter number one. Um, they are seven of six, or excuse me, five of eight from the foul line the first half for 62.5%. They have rebounded 11 times. They have yet to pull down an offensive rebound in the first half. They've committed five fouls, given up five, uh, turned the ball over five times, five steals to go along with four assists. For Coach Burrow's ball club, he has nobody in double figures, but they are led by Cam Elsey with nine points, eight for Tanisha Murphy, six for Marnay Holland, and five for Jada Johnson. For Georgetown, they were led in scoring by Aaron Toller and A.J. Stevenson, each with 14. Four points each for Izzy Lamparty and Jalen Landversite. Three points for Madison Darnell and two points for Sophie Smith. Jordan Rogers, along with Shelby Wilson, Lisa Sulajamani, and Callie Jackson all played in the first half and failed to reach the scoring column. Although Coach Jeff Nickel got great minutes from everybody in that first half. Tigers overall shooting 16 of 35 from the floor in the first half for 45.7%. They were 7 of 15 from behind the arc for 46.7%. 
And they were two of two from the foul line the first half, of course, for 100%. With Georgetown leading uh, in rebounding, they're doubling up Shawnee in the first half of action in rebounding. Tigers pulled down 22 rebounds in the first half of action, led by seven of those from Madison Darnell. Tigers have given out 10 assists, three of them from Tulema Johnny, two each for Sophie Smith and Madison Darnell. They have uh, four block shots. Only turned the ball over five times in the first half. Six times in the first half. And they committed ten fouls in the first half. They lead 41. 28 here at the halftime break. Tigers over Shawnee here in the opening 20 minutes of play. So Georgetown and Shawnee has been a, a, a kind of in the Mid-South Conference, one of those rivalries that just kind of flown under the radar. Um, Georgetown and Shawnee have played some great games. Uh, I think Shawnee has only won once or twice here in this building in their career here. So we shall see how things play out here this afternoon. That's in the men's side of things. Of course, Shawnee under the tutelage of Coach Jeff Nickel and his tenure up there uh, was a thorn in the side of Georgetown College and especially over the last six years in Portsmouth. <coughs> so Georgetown and Shawnee. We'll get the boys' action a little bit later, or the men's action, I should say, a little later. Tigers looking for a big win in conference play here for the women. If the Tigers can pull this off uh, and, and keep the pace they've got going, uh, Tigers have... Uh, Shot the ball extremely well, giving the extra pass up. Uh, but, of course, Coach Jeff Nickel uh, always wanting more perfection from his ball club. Uh, the Tigers come in 11-7, and 7-5 seven, seven and five overall. Uh, they had two losses outside of the conference. One to Southeastern University in the Thomas More University Julie Costello Classic back in the end of November. So the high scoring game 96 80 in that affair. And they lost to Indiana Institute of Technology 56 or 66 53 on the road at the end of October. So uh, Georgetown. With those five losses in conference, coming to uh, no lightweights. Uh, of course, they were upset here at home a week ago by Freed Hardman by a point. Then the, the loss on the road to Pikeville here on Thursday this week. But they've lost to number one Thomas Moore by 12 here. They lost to, like I said, uh, University of Pikeville here at home. Uh, you know, dismal shooting game for the Lady Tigers. Then they Battled right down to the end and gave a uh, loss by seven here at home to then third rank Campbellsville on December the 10th. So, you know, the, they have been <clears throat> right there. And a couple of shots here or there, the Tigers, instead of being seven and five in conference play, could be something like seven and one. Or, excuse me, it could be. Uh, 11-1 in conference play. Uh, really, the only game they were really out of uh, was that uh, game back in middle of November against Thomas Moore. Early 
uh, conference games for the men and women here at Georgetown. Now ready to begin the second half of action. It'll be the same starting five for Shawnee, Murphy, Elsey, along with Holland, uh, Markayla Holland, and Marnay Holland, along with Jada Johnson. For Georgetown, the same starting five. Smith, Landversite, Toller comes up with a steal. Toller with Landversite to her left, takes it, wraps around, left hand lift, good. First two of the second half goes to Georgetown, and that lead increases to 15 now. 43-28 Tigers. Elsey high post to Johnson, almost had it taken away by Toller. But Elsie rescues it. This is Holland. Johnson, floater, hit the side of the backboard. <clears throat> and here come the Tigers. Up 15, looking for more. Smith, they run off and leave her. She'll penetrate. Goes baseline, kicks it out to Landersite in the left corner. Landersite, right hand left, count it and a foul. Landersite with four. At halftime, she has that many here in the first 54 seconds of the third quarter. And the foul is on number 12, Michaela, or Markayla Holland. Her first, the first of the second half of the third quarter on Shawnee and Landersite to try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Back rims it no good, rebounded by Johnson. First miss of the afternoon from the foul line for Georgetown. Elsie, nice no-look pass down to Johnson and a foul on Lamparty as Johnson made that a tougher shot than she needed to. Lamparty with her first foul. First on the Tigers here in the second half. And Marnay Holland, the 5'11 senior, will go to the line for two shots. The first one is good from... Holland. And the second one bounces in. Eight now for Marnay Holland, and it's 45 30. Tigers. Smith working up on Elsie. Behind the back, can't get free. There's Lambert Sight straight away to Darnell. Looking down low, can't get it. Here's Lambersite penetrates down the right side of the lane. Got it up and in. Ten now for Lambersite. She's the third Tiger in double figures. Here's Elsie. No good. Rebounded by Lambersite. Off to Smith. Smith right down the middle of the lane. Hesitates. Gets cut off. And they're going to call steps. Turnover on Georgetown. And the Tigers with that 17 pointed lead right now. High post to Johnson. He had, she had Holland, but she gets the basket and a foul. Second foul on Lamparty and give Johnson the bucket. She now has seven. And she looks to complete the old fashioned three point play. It's 47 32, Tigers with 8.06 to play in the third quarter. She misses the free throw, Lamparty with the rebound. This is Darnell, back to Smith, had a shot. Darnell will let three fly from the right side, no good, and a foul on Elsie for going up under Lamparty. So the Tigers will get the basketball back. And it'll be Smith triggering in. She has Lambersite wide open and lays it in. Lambersite with all eight here in the quarter, and it's 49 32 Tigers. Elsie pounding the dribble, gives it in the right corner to Johnson, who gets around Lamparty, blocked from behind by Lamparty into the hands of Smith. Smith with two players dogging her here on the near sideline. And a timeout, Georgetown. Let's 
So with 7.26 to play, we'll keep it right here. It's been the Jalen Landversite show in the third quarter. She had four points at halftime. She now has 12, all eight of the Tiger points here in the second half of play so far. That 30-second timeout has been extended to a full timeout here on the Tiger Sports Network. Kentucky fan, and they have just seen this frustrated me so much. Back here at Davis Reed Alumni Gym on the campus of Georgetown College. Lady Tigers with a 49-32 lead and it has been the Jalen Landversite show here in the third quarter. Tigers led by 13 at half and Landversite has all eight of the Tiger points here in the third quarter. Toller backing down Murphy. Fall away, missed the shot and a foul on Murphy. Second foul on Murphy. Yet Toller on the elbow. Toller will go to the line for two shots. Toller with 14 to co lead the Tigers in scoring. Gets the first and 15, and that's the biggest lead of the day for Georgetown at 18, 50 to 32. The second one is short, rebounded by Holland, and gives it off to Elsie. Left wing, Murphy, three on the way. No good. Rebounded backside by Darnell. Lost it, but right in the hands of Jackson. Here's Smith with it. The Landersite. Hits Darnell, who wasn't expecting it. Now to Smith. Smith behind the back, and a foul coming up on Murphy, and that's three on Tanisha Murphy. Threw the right foot out there. I think she thought Smith was going to bounce past it, but they call the trip. That's four fouls on the Bears here in the third quarter. And Smith will inbound the basketball. 20 to shoot on the shot clock. Here's Landersite. Left wing, Smith. Jackson posting up. Can't get it to her. Now they have Darnell deep in the paint. Put it up and in. Five now for Madison Darnell. It's 52-32. Tigers with their biggest lead of the night. Here's Mer. Uh, it's... Nelson Elias, now back to Elsie. Skip pass and a foul on Toller, trying to get in the way of the pass. That's fouls on Toller. And it's Shawnee inbounding with Elsie triggering in right baseline extended. Murphy with the basketball. Working on Toller, and they're going to call a foul. I tell you what, I've seen a lot more contact than I've seen there. And they call a foul on Toller, so that's three now on Aaron Toller. And A.J. Stevens will come in. Stevenson with a big first half, four made threes. The co lead Georgetown. In that, as Murphy will try to complete the old fashioned three point play here and cannot. Rebounded by Lambersite. Smith loses the ball. Murphy has it free. And a foul coming up on Smith. That's three now on Sophie Smith. Georgetown's foul troubles continue. Suma Johnny will come in. We're going to say two shots. Had a lot more fouls called in this quarter. There's nine right now on the board. Of 
question is, they're getting together right now on the shot clock. I don't think either team had control, and they're going to shoot for two as Murphy, who has 10. And this is the first free throw. She is now two of four from the foul line. Georgetown with an 18 point lead, 52 34, with 6.19 to play in the third quarter. Murphy's free throw, no good. Tipped by Jackson into the hands of Elsie. So an easy two for Elsie. Now Lamberside kills the dribble. Gives it off to Suleiman Johnny. They're sending three people at her. Here's Stevenson into the lane. Bounce pass down to Darnell. Fakes, puts it up, count it. Seven for Darnell, 54-36. Elsie with the basketball. Gets down low to Johnson, who laid it in. Oh, that is Nelson Elias. First two from Nelson Elias. And it's back to a 16-point Tiger advantage. Stevenson gets a screen. Now to Darnell. Darnell spins. Back to Lambersite. Set her feet. Three straight. Good. Eleven points in the quarter. Fifteen now for Lambersite. Here's a three out of the corner for Johnson. Short. Jackson tips it. Rescues it and then steps on the end line. So Shawnee will have the basketball back underneath their own basket. Elsie will trigger in. It's a 19 point Tiger advantage. Here's Murphy. Drives around. That trip by our own player. They're going to call it on a Tiger and they're going to call it on Landversite. And the foul was on Lambertite. That's her third. She becomes the third Tiger in foul trouble. As Murphy misses her fourth straight free, uh, field, uh, free throw. She has 10 points, but she is 0 of 4 from the foul line currently here in the third quarter. And she hits the second. Give her 11. 57 39. Tigers by 18. We got a timeout again. Held up by the shot clock. Lamberside inbounds to Suleiman Johnny, guarded by Elsie. Across the timeline, man to man from Shawnee. Suleiman Johnny into the lane to Lamberside, three straight away, but a little bit further out this time. Suleiman Johnny gets a long rebound. They run off and leave her. Three, right wing, no. Darnell tips it, though. And they're going to call a foul on Shawnee. Should be two shots for Madison Darnell. Should be shooting foul because there's five fouls in the quarter. Madison Darnell will go to the line. I didn't see who the foul was on. So Darnell, who has seven on the afternoon, flirting with a double-double right now. First free throw from Darnell. Hits the front of the rim and bounces off the back of the rim and drops. Eight points now for Darnell. It's 58-39, Georgetown by 19 with 4.43 to play. She hits the second, gives her nine. <clears throat> Elsie. Left wing to Murphy, now to Elsie. High post to Holland, has it knocked away, and a foul on Suleiman Johnny. Now 
That's the third on Sula Johnny. So she becomes the fourth Tiger with three, at least three fouls. And it's a media timeout. So timeout on the floor with 4.28 to play in the third. It's Tigers by 20. Tigers with a 20-point lead here with 4.28 to play in the third. Tigers looking to stop a brief two-game losing streak here after winning four in a row. Next up for the Tigers, after this one, they'll be at number one, Thomas Moore. As Holland will shoot the free throw, and it's good. Marnay now with 11. 59-40. It's the second. She becomes the second pair in double figures. Here's Sue and Johnny as Elsie gets a screen from Lamb Party, and that was a screen half. Nice look from Sue and Johnny down to Jackson for the lay-in. First two of the afternoon for Jackson. It's 51-41, 61-41. Bounce down low. Lamb Party dealing with Holland, who lays it in. Holland having a nice afternoon, 12 for her. 61-43, Tigers. Running jump coming in another screen. They're going to call a moving screen. And for Lamparty, uh, that's her third. Now we're going to get Raven Harris, 6'3", sophomore. Making her first appearance of the year for Georgetown. Harris, a six foot three sophomore out of Lexington Park, Maryland, via Cleveland State University. Johnson put it on the floor and had her pocket picked by Suleiman Johnny. Suleiman Johnny with a right hand floater, no good. Rebounded by Elsie. Elsie to Murphy. Penetrates, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Holland. Out. Nelson Elias from 15 straight away, and it bounces high and drops through. Four now for Nelson Elias. 61-45, Georgetown with just over three minutes to play in the third. Darnell, they got to get off that sideline over there to do the Tigers. They go down low to Harris, puts it on the floor, gets into the lane, missed the shot, goes back, and a foul on Harris. Her first. That's team foul number six on the Tigers as Jackson will come out. Toller will come back in. Georgetown. Biggest lead has been 20. They've had it three times here in the quarter. A 
as Holland misses her first free throw of the afternoon. She was six of six until then. Here's the second one from Holland. She hits that one. She has seven points in the quarter, 13 on the afternoon, and it's down to 15, 61-46. Toller, three out of the deep left corner, good! <laughs> Toller with 18 now, here's a steal by Sulin Johnny, I hit it the other way, Darnell on her right, Stevenson on her left. The Euro step, no good, rebounded by Darnell, Stevenson sets her feet, three, no good, Darnell with a, yet another rebound. Back to Stevenson and a foul on Murphy, and that is a huge, huge foul for Shawnee as that is four on Murphy. That is a big one. Good Burrow's gonna let her play through it. Darnell. At the line, hits the first free throw. Seven in the quarter for Darnell. She becomes another Tiger in double figures. In and out, Harris though had it, and it's off of Johnson, goes back to the Tigers with 2.28 to play. Johnson will be really beneficial for Coach Jeff Nichols' ball club when she gets in basketball playing shape. She hasn't played for a while. Harris, power dribbles, knocked away by Johnson again. 28 to shoot on the shot clock. Tigers inbounding. To Toller, now to Darnell, who will run the point here. They get it down low to Harris, turns, put it up and in. That's the largest lead of the day. They get it down low to Holland, loses control of it, throws it up off the glass and in. Boy, I tell you what, Marnay Holland is just really timeout Shawnee. Nine in the quarter, 15 for Marnay Holland this afternoon with 2.07 to play. Here in the fourth quarter. So Georgetown leading. They have scored a team. Ball back here, Georgetown leading 67 48. Front court to Toller. Toller bounces down the left block to Harris. High post goes to Darnell in the right corner. Three Stevens on the way, too strong. Rebounded by Johnson. Nice job of blocking out on the back side. Under two to play. Here's Murphy on the floor with those four fouls. I don't know if Coach Burroughs knows she's got four or not. By my count, she has four. I posted Johnson too strong of a pass into the hands of Stevenson. Here come the Tigers. Suleiman Johnny right down the lane. Euro step too strong. Harris with the rebound. Put it up and in. Four for Harris. 69-48. Turnover. Here come the Tigers. Toller. Euro step. Left it short. They've gotten fouled. No call. Head the other way. Murphy working on Stevenson. Stevenson. 69-50, Tigers as we go under a minute here in the third. Suleiman Johnny with it. Left wing, Toller for three, got it. 72-50, Tigers with the biggest lead of the afternoon. Elsie high post to Holland, tries to bounce low and low to Johnson, got knocked away by Darnell. 
And it goes back to Shawnee State as the Bears bring in Markayla Holland along with Claudia Carrillo and Nakaya Jackson, 24 in blue for the first time today. Elsie bounced off the back to Stevenson and got it back. Deep three, left of the circle by Elsie, way off. Ball comes loose on the floor. Here comes Suleiman Johnny, and she'll pull it back as the shot clock is off here in the third. Here's it off to Stevenson. Ten now to play in the third. Suleiman Johnny penetrates down the lane, left hand layup, no, rebounded by Carrillo. Elzey in a hurry, the other direction, has no clue that the clock is running out, and that's the end of the third quarter. Big quarter for the Tigers, 31 points in the quarter. They lead after three quarters of play, 72-50 on the Tigers Sports Network. It'll be Georgetown basketball to begin the fourth quarter play. Tigers with their largest lead of the ball game at 72-50, a 31-point quarter for the Tigers. Shel uh, Shawnee scored 22 in that quarter, but the Tigers able to ride the hot hand of Jalen Lambersight, Aaron Toller, and then Madison Darnell. Here's Stevenson down the lane, a foul coming up on Carrillo. First foul on Carrillo, first foul on Georgetown, or on Shawnee. It'll be two shots for Stevenson, who had 14 at halftime, is yet to score here in the second half. She hits the first. She becomes the third Tiger with at least 15. Now she leads the Tigers in scoring with 16. 74-50. Elsey back to Holland straight away, 17. No, back rim rebounded by Stevenson. Off to Suleiman Johnny. Darnell down low, they get it. Try to go to Harris, bounces off of Elsey's head. Harris gets it, kicks it out in the corner to Toller, who's double teamed, double teamed. And a timeout, Tigers. 14 to seconds on the shot clock. I believe they gave a couple of baskets to Shelby Wilson for Aaron Toller, I think. It's a 30 second timeout for Georgetown. We'll take it real quickly right here on the Tiger Sports Network.
9-17 to play in the ball game. Georgetown leading over Shawnee here. 74-50, that's the biggest lead of the afternoon for the Tigers on the board. They have four players in double figures right now. It's Darnell, Toller, along with Stevenson and Landversite. Here's Toller, and all that is uh, Shelby Wilson, excuse me, with a nice pass and a foul coming up on Marnay Holland. So for Holland, that'll be her, by my count, fourth foul. This is Darnell working on LZ spins, gives it over here to Stevenson. Can't get her shot off. Runner, jump pass down low to Harris, put it up, no good, goes back and gets it. A lot of contact, no call, and here comes McKay Jackson, and she runs into Toll on the charge. Oh, that's Shelby Wilson, excuse me. Wilson with a defensive play. So she does have a couple. She has a couple of threes. Georgetown right now through three quarters of play has hit. Is that right? Ten threes. So Johnny down the lane, and a whistle and a foul coming up on... This is Markayla Holland. So Markayla Holland. And Sullivan Johnny hits the first. And the second from Sullivan Johnny, no good. Rebounded by Elsie. Elsie will drive the length of the floor and lay it in. Fifteen now for Elsie. Seventy-five, fifty-two. Tigers, eight twenty, and the clock on the move. Down low to Darnell. Tried to get it back out. Tipped and intercepted by Carrillo. Back out to Elsie. Down the baseline to Holland. Holland and a foul on Harris. Second foul on Raven Harris, the 6'3 sophomore, as Jordan Rogers will go to the scorer's table and replace Raven Harris, who's given Coach Jeff Nichols some really good minutes in her first game action of the season. Free throw by Holland is no good. This is Markela Holland. He has yet to score today. And the second is good. She's on the board. 75-53. 22-point lead for the Tigers. So Matani gives it on the left wing to Stevenson. Drives, pulls up from six. Back rim and good. 18 now for Stevenson. 77 53. Tigers by 24. Nice give and go to uh, the Holland. Girls, a nice lay in. That was Markela feeding Marnay. This is Suleiman Johnny. Can't get her shot free. She steps back and hits it. Three now for Thulman Johnny. Seventy-eight, uh, seventy-nine, fifty-five. Tigers. Jackson high off the glass, too strong. Rebounded by Wilson, who will push it into the lane. Pulls up from five. Got it. Wilson now with eight. 81-55, Georgetown by 26. Elsey with a runner with the left hand. Here 
Here's Rogers. Rogers down the right side of the lane, put it up too strong. Darnell with another rebound, put it up no good, got it again, put it up no good. Rebounded by Holland for Shawnee. Jackson dribbled off her foot. Sulemajani headed the other way. Ahead to Stevenson. Left hand left. Left it short. Rebounded by Carrillo. Holland lays it in. Markayla Holland now with three. 81 59. 540 to play. Tigers up 22. Stevenson. Left hand layup. Good. Stevenson with 20 now. Matches the number on her jersey. 83-59 Georgetown. They lob it down low to Holland, who gives over to Carrillo. Has it blocked by Wilson. Carrillo got it back, gives it to Elsie, who gets into the lane. Stevenson got crushed by a blind side screen, and the shot no good. And here come the Tigers again. Still and Johnny. Spins, fall away, short. Ahead to Holland. Three Tigers back and gets the shot, no good. Jackson rebounds backside, no good. Gets another rebound, puts it up over Stevenson, no good. Rebounded by Rogers. Here come the Tigers. Rogers pulls up, 15 footer, good. Timeout on the floor as Coach Burroughs has seen enough, and that will extend it to a media timeout. 4.31 to play. It's Georgetown, 85, Shawnee State, 59 on the Tiger Sports Network. Back inside, Davis Reed alumni, Jim Tigers lead by 26, 85-59 with 4.31 to play. It's Sophie Wilson, Sophie Smith, Madison Darnell, Jalen Landversite, and Jordan Rogers on the floor for Jeff Nichols. Here's another turnover from Shawnee, and Darnell heads the other direction, has her pocket picked from behind, and here come the Bears. Holland with it. Gets off balance, misses the shot. Smith claims the rebound on the backside for Georgetown. Tigers running again. Ball loose on the floor. Lamberside will knock it out of bounds and stays with Shawnee as Johnson and Lamberside went to the floor. Lamberside, the last one to touch the basketball. Here come the Bears of Shawnee, trailing by 26. Elsie with it. Down the lane, puts it up and a foul, and that's a bailout call. No way that ball's going in. They're going to call Landersite for the blocking foul. But that shot had no way of going in, number one, I don't think, unless it was a prayer answered. But Landersite got the block, and they said she initiated the contact. As Elsie hits the first. Eighteen now for Elsie. And she hits the second. She is four of four from the line. 
85-61, 3.50 to play. Tigers look, will get their, barring a total collapse, their 12th win of the year. Rodgers drives in a foul coming up on Shawnee. Foul. Didn't see who it was on. It was Elsie and that is Marnay Holland go to the bench. They're replaced by Karima Nix, a 6'1 freshman, 15 in blue, as Rogers misses the first. And then Rogers hits the second. And the other is Selena Eisenhart, 5'8", junior out of Ed Edinburgh, Scotland. Here she is with the basketball, loses control of it, gives it back to Johnson, who drives, has it partially blocked by Smith. Rogers tips it ahead. Driving, lays it up, and a charge. Wow. A charging foul on Rogers. That's her second. But no way, shape, or form was the defender set there. Or even in a good guarding position. So a turnover on Georgetown. This is... Tierra Johnson misses the shot. Landersite rebounds. Here comes the Tigers. Under three to play. Smith with the basketball. Around to Darnell. Now Jordan Rogers. Darnell's a weave. Here's Landersite on the right block. Back outside to Rogers. Now to Darnell. Got to get down to Landersite. Knocked away. Here comes Holland. Holland heads the other direction. Bakes throws it up. No. Darnell with another rebound. Here's Smith with it. Backs it out. 220 to play now. Darnell. Rogers in the corner. Stepped on the sidelines. Eighty-six sixty-one, Georgetown. Johnson will bring it up on Smith. Straight away to Eisenhart. Three, no good. Jordan Rogers with a rebound. A foul on Landro's side, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Stay on Landro's side. That's her fifth. So Landro's side will foul out. As Callie Jackson comes in, Landersite will finish with 15. 11 of them here in the second half. They all came in the third quarter. Here's Rogers. Around to Darnell, and they're going to call her for steps. Nickel didn't agree with that just by watching his body language. A minute and a half to play. Tigers by 25. Here's Earhart. Eisenhart gives it off to Johnson. She's fouled. And Raven Harris will come back in replacing Madison Darnell. Johnson's free throw is no good. Yeah. 
Now he has really struggled from the foul line, especially here in the second half. Johnson's free throw is no good. Harris claims the rebound, now gives it to Smith. Smith. Gives it now to Rogers, to Jackson. Here's Rogers again. Tigers. It's stuck on 86 for a little while. The under 10 is Rogers out of the corner. No good. Jackson with a rebound. Puts it up over Holland. Holland blocked it. Rebound into the hands of Johnson. Here come the Bears again. Johnson just lowers the shoulder. Floater, no. Rebounded on the backside by Nix. Bounces back out to Johnson. To Holland straight away for three. No good. Rebound flying in as Jada Johnson lays it in. Jada Johnson now with. Nine. Played about 35 minutes in this one. This is Smith with it. 30 seconds to go. 86. Here's Rogers. Three right of the circle. Go. Six for Rogers. And timeout Shawnee again. 89-63, Georgetown will win this one comfortably. Coming up 20 minutes after the conclusion of this one, mind you, the Georgetown men get together with the Shawnee State men, and the Shawnee State men with a two-point victory over Georgetown in Portsmouth. So the Tigers looking to avenge that loss. Take a 20 minute break and be back. We'll have probably Coach Jeff Nickel up here to talk with us after this game. I know he's a little bit a little upset with all the turnovers by Georgetown this afternoon, but he has to be ex extremely excited about the way they have rebounded the basketball, especially Madison Darnell, who has a double double. I'd be interested to see what she finishes with. On the um, Shawnee, he's going to just keep the ball out away from the scoring area and run the clock out. 89 63 will be the final score here in Georgetown. Tigers move to 11 and 7. Or excuse me, a 12 and 7 on the year. And 8 and 5 in the Mid South Conference. They got a much well-earned victory and needed one in the worst kind of way here as they knock off Shawnee in the women's game here this afternoon in Georgetown. We'll be back, give you the final numbers, and then we'll have a conversation with head coach Jeff Nickel. This has been Georgetown College women's basketball on the Tigers Sports Network. <laughs> 